straight ahead, Steve. Yeah, you know, I think I feel like nowadays it's a, it's a bit. Um, I think having like a big old fashioned premiere is kind of rare. So to have a chance where it's like it's it's full on is really fun, you know. Filmmaking is meant to be fun, and sometimes it's you know it's a little bit more fun than other times. This happened to be a great blast and uh, a talented group and uh, fun material and uh, you know making believe and playing pretend for a living. I think every day was really fun. I mean, we got to talk to, you know, skeletons that, you know, reanimated and we got to run away from fat dragons and all sorts of fun stuff. Dude, everybody's awesome. I mean, look at them. You got different generations here. We're so different. I think we complement each other, you know. Well, you know, I played it when I was a kid, you know, but I, I have a profound respect for it because for me, it's like a gym for, for the imagination. And there's no better way to, 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 you know, work that imagination than playing Dungeons and Dragons. If you want to be a writer, if you want to be, you know, role-playing games like Dungeons are the best way to go because you just, you work that muscle. You have to create everything from scratch. They worked really hard, the stunt guys. I mean, they, they, every day they had either a stunt happening on set or they were training somebody at the same time. It was, they were pretty, really busy because it's a big cast and everybody had action sequences. The vibe out here is wonderful. Everyone's super friendly and excited. Um, the movie is, I can't wait, I genuinely cannot wait to share this film with people. Like we've all seen it. We haven't seen it with folks who aren't inside the team. So that idea of sharing it with people who are enthusiastic. Um, it's like, we've been really treated on this tour. Getting to go to Comic-Con twice already and kind of meeting our, our people and just be, being in spaces where people are free to be enthusiastic about everything that they dream of and imagine. That's what this movie is. It's imagination and dreams and wish fulfillment. And we get to give that to folks. I don't know how to top that. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know if you can pick that up. The joy of this movie is everyone I've spoken to who has seen it, the magic thing that John and Jonathan have done, I don't know how they've done it, is that D&D &D players are like, oh wow, this movie's for us, but I don't know if everyone else is going to understand it because we've got all this D&D &D stuff in there. Everyone else is like, oh wow, this movie's for us. I can't believe that you didn't bother catering to the D&D &D guys. Everyone feels it's for them. And I don't know what secret ingredients they put into, but it works. And everyone, there's a deep, deep respect for the law. There's a, loads of deep dive Easter eggs. There's lots and lots of fun D&D &D rules jokes. But also, we just have a movie that's about friends and family and fantasy and unlimited possibilities and finding yourself and having a great time. So I, I, uh, I don't know how they did it, but they did, and I can't wait to go in and do it again with them. I feel that most of the comedy in this comes from having a fantastic ensemble cast. All of these actors are a wonderful combination of very intelligent and highly unpredictable, which brings this wonderful chaos magic to all of the humor. You don't have to be a D&D &D fan of all this movie. Um, I think they did what the, the two directors did a really good job doing was um, measure, kind of like uh, have references for D&D you know, &D players to love, but they leave it so anyone can enjoy and understand and follow the movie. So uh, I'm excited. No dull moment on set. They were, they were very, he's funny, he's hilarious. Michelle is insane and I love her. Um, and everyone's just fantastic and so much like their characters. 
It's really fun. It's my first time being in Texas and being at South by. So I, I literally just got in, but I'm excited to explore Austin and see what, what Austin has to offer. I did play the game. We played it as a cast before we started shooting, which was really fun. Um, but yeah, it really kind of is self-explanatory. It, it just takes you on this like wonderful, action-packed ride, and and it explains all of the ins and outs of the lore. So you, you can just sit back and relax. It's designed to be this like epic. You know, it, it has heart. It has comedy. It has action. Uh, it's it's an all-around like family fun adventure. So I think in order to get the full impact, you got to see it with like friends and family in a theater. I love it. It's so exciting. I've never been here before, and already I love the place. I want to explore everything. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Everyone is so great, and they're as lovely people as they are talented at what they do. And it was just an honor to be an honor amongst thieves to be part of this amazing ensemble. Oh man, it's been a long road for us. Four years, pandemic, everything you can imagine, all the hurdles that you can imagine in, in a movie this size, but uh, we're so gratified that we're finally here doing it. And South By is one of our favorite festivals. There's nothing that beats the crowds that you get here. You don't need to know even what Dungeons or Dragons are to enjoy this movie, because you will learn. It's a terrific ensemble. We got such, a, such good luck in getting these people, and they work so well together, and we kind of adapted the movie to them and their voices as we went, and it's such a pleasure to be able to do that. This is designed to be seen in a theater. There's massive spectacle. There's a, a ton of stuff that uh, you can only really enjoy when you're in a crowd of people watching it on the big screen. It just won't fit on your phone. <laughs>